is your morning report brought to you by Sky Sports News. Coming up, Chelsea's chairman Bruce Book says nobody is safe from the economic downturn. England are just two days away from their next World Cup qualifier. We've got the latest injury news. And David Bentley says he doesn't blame one day Ramos for his England exclusion. But first, to the gathering momentum behind introducing a salary cap in football. The president of the UEFA, Michel Platini, says it's necessary for the good of the game, but others have dismissed the idea out of hand. We have to speak about the number of contracts in the clubs. We, know we can speak about the salary. But I am not an expert. I am an expert of football, of the game, only, and an expert of diplomacy with a journalist. But uh, the rest, we have, to, we have to learn. It's what I say. We have to go slowly and to look what we can do. But it's necessary for the, for the, for the good of the football. Too many people feel that actually that salary caps is really actually about uh, wage caps uh, and that's actually illegal in Europe. Rugby League and Rugby Union are two exceptions because they were in financial difficulties and, and people uh, were keen to, to let them move into those salary caps. You have to understand that if uh, the Premier League were to cap its costs, players would leave and they'd go elsewhere and suddenly all of this tremendous uh, stuff that's going on around the Premier League would transport itself to... Spain or Italy or Germany or maybe even the United States. Chelsea chairman Bruce Buck is warning that even his club will feel the effects of the global financial crisis. Buck says no one is immune. Um, I don't think any club is feeling it immediately, but I think we'll, we all will feel it in the relatively near term. I think when season ticket renewals uh, uh, go out in May and when people start to think about Christmas presents, um, I think we're going to have a more difficult time in our mega store, in our corporate hospitality, in our season ticket sales. Um, so I, I definitely I think that the credit crunch is a, a very big issue which we're all going to have to deal with uh, in, certainly in the middle term. Now to a big blow for England. Captain John Terry looks certain to miss Saturday's World Cup qualifier against Kazakhstan at Wembley, although the FA have yet to confirm the news. The Chelsea defender pulled out of a proposed double training session after just 20 minutes after suffering a recurrence of a back injury. Terry is now also a doubt for next Wednesday's qualifier against Belarus in Minsk. A back injury also forced Emil Heskey to withdraw from England's latest training session, but he's expected to train later today. So injury concerns for England, but Sean Wright Phillips is ready to take his chance if it comes. The winger's been in tremendous form since his return to Manchester City, and he admits Fabio Capello was right to leave him out of the England squad earlier this year when he was struggling at Chelsea. I'm obviously disappointed that I wasn't picked after, but um, I think it, in what happened was good, and I respected the boss for it because obviously um, it, it kicked me kicked me into shape, and I knew that I had to obviously um, perform and get better about it. That everyone's had their time there and they, they know what he wants and they, he, they, everyone knows how he likes things done and um, as long as everybody does that and plays the way they have been playing I don't think we'll have a problem. David Bentley isn't part of the England squad after being dropped by Fabio Capello but he says he doesn't blame one day Ramos for his poor form. Bentley has played on the left, in the middle and even at right back at Tottenham this season despite his preferred position at right wing. But he's dismissed reports of a rift with his manager. He told the son, I'm fully behind him, 100%. I've been to see him and talk things over, but so have a lot of players. He's very approachable. If I'm asked to play right back again, I will do it. If that's what the manager wants, there's no point whinging and getting self-obsessed. We have more than enough good players at Tottenham to get us out of this situation, and I give my word that we will. Steven Gerrard looks set to be reunited with Frank Lampard for the game. The pairing has drawn criticism in the past, but Gerrard's club teammate Jamie Carragher has no doubts they can forge a successful partnership. He also feels it's too early to start talking about Liverpool's title chances. Yeah, I think they can play together. I mean, the two, two world-class players, top player. I mean, Lampard's had a great start, still with Stevie, and that's the thing about them. They're always, you know, one scores and then the other one scores in the game the same weekend. I mean, they're just well, two world-class players, and I'm... But that, that's not really down to Frank Lampard or Steven Gerrard. It's up to the manager to you know, find a way that they can both play, or maybe if only one of them plays, but that's, that's the manager's decision. I mean, I think it's too early to be talking about you know, title talk now, very early. I mean, uh, there's a lot of competition and all sorts. So we've only played seven or eight games, and maybe if you can look where we are, maybe January, February, that'd be a better uh, indication then. Coming up on Sky Sports, there's live cricket right now from Bangalore with Australia up against India in day one of the first test. That's over on Sky Sports 1. And live coverage of the World Grand Prix darts continues tonight. It's day four on Sky Sports 1 from 7.
The Madrid Masters gets underway today from half 11 on Sky Sports 2 and HD2. And on the same channels from 8 o'clock tonight, it's the 2008 Horse of the Year show. The Premier League snooker season continues tonight at the Malvern Theatre in Worcestershire, with Ronnie O'Sullivan up against Ding Jun Wee and Mark Selby taking on Steve Davis. That's at 7.30 on Sky Sports 3. At the same time on Sky Sports Extra, there's live European rugby with Toulon up against Northampton in round one of the Challenge Cup. And from 10 tonight on Sky Sports Extra, the live Sky Poker 500. You can keep up to date with all the latest stories on Sky Sports News, Sky Digital Channel 405.